Okay, next we are going to study the query language in SQL, which is the PML part of SQL. Right? Let's see why do we call it SQL as structured query language. It is the TML part, okay? It is because every SQL query has a basic structure of select okay something from some table where some condition is met okay so select row from table where condition every SQL query has this structure common structure okay so let's suppose we have a table employee table which has the employee name it has the employees PAN number it has the employees email and it has the employees phone number okay phone number so if I have to find the person whose name is say Rob then what I would do I would say select name say I want to have his email ok so I would say select name and email from the employee table where where name is equal to I guess I said Rob right where name is equal to Rob so it's going to give me this I would have name as Rob and I would have email as Rob at somewhere right this is same as what we did in relational algebra we had project name comma email select name is equal to Rob from the table EMP right so the project the combination of select and project operator is select from where right so that's a simple query in SQL where can have and or like say I need to have What else can I have here? Let us forget it for the time being. We can have in where and or okay and all the operators like equal to greater than equal to less than equal to it would be like this it would be like this right not equal to which is this okay these are the operators that I have it is also sometimes written as this not equal to okay let's suppose we have one more attribute here okay and this is the last name 
okay and now this becomes this becomes the first name right so if i have to find the person rob thomas then i would write select name say i just want to find his first name and his email so i would say select first name and email from employee where first name is equal to rob and okay last name is equal to thomas so in this way i use and or and other operators okay you can also have no okay so that was very simple select from where query right so now let's see how do we do a cross join operator okay a cross product operator remember we had this cross product in relational algebra so how do we do that let's suppose we have the same table employee table okay let's modify our employee table we have the name we have the pan card number we have the email number rather the email we have the department name okay this is my employees table and we have a department table where we have the department name and we have the manager's name okay this is my department table okay i'll write it here this is employee this is department okay so now let's say i want to find out manager of rob okay so in this case i would have to do the cross product of these two tables so let's see how do we do that a cross product we will do it like this i would say select first name comma manager okay from employee comma department okay so this is the cross product remember in sql comma indicates cross comma is cross okay so we would do select first name comma manager from employee comma department if there is no this comma forget about this from where now we have to relate only those departments which have the same name here and same name here right so what we will do we would say where employee dot department is equal to department dot department right so in this way i would get the natural join and now i have to find the manager of rob so i would say and where first name is equal to rob right so this is my query 
what I would get as result is a table which should have two attributes I would have Rob over here and I would have say Jimmy is his manager okay now let's look at aliasing okay it's like rename operator this query I can also write as select first name as name so I rename the first name with a new name the name is obviously the name okay and the manager as manager from employee as let's I rename the table as E okay comma department as D so now I can write where E dot department is equal to D dot department and name is or rather first name is I can also write it as e dot first name okay e dot first name is raw okay in the select field when you rename these things would be shown in the result so in this case the result was something like this you had the first name and you had the manager okay your table was something like this now your table would be name and manager okay and you would have the value as Rob and Jimmy okay that was about renaming tables and attributes so let's see the use of star operator okay star means everything all the tuples okay it also means all the columns all the tuples means all the rows and all the columns so if I do select star from employee then the entire employee table would be displayed right it would have all the table all the attributes how many attributes do we have one two three four right one two three four and it would have all the rows so this is the result of this So let's suppose I want to find out all the employees working in finance department so I would do select star from employee where department is equal to finance. So in this case still I would have all the attributes right we have four attributes and we would have all the finance related tuples that is people working in finance that was the concept of star it means everything okay